so when I've got a little extra time I like to fool around to see what might work for certain future projects. I use these serrated rack pieces to make a sort of zigzag pattern in small diameter copper. And now I'd like to try it out on some steel. Many times you've just got to try to see what will work and what won't. For the first heat, I just gently establish my lines. It's a lot less easy than I imagined. But then again, I can only hammer on one spot at a time and not the full length of the rack. I want to give a very big shout out to Roger Raitan and Michael Bailey. Both of these gentlemen gave a hefty extra sum as a donation and it really goes a long way to helping out the channel. Thanks very much. When you hand hammer only, and with such relatively small equipment, you've really got to keep at it, take some extra heats to get the results that you might want. So it doesn't look exactly like I thought it would. Uh, the result is not exactly what I expected, but it is something that I might be able to incorporate in some future pieces. I'm making this little piece of copper into a ring. I just thought I'd show that quickly. I'll go smaller diameter with the steel and see what results. That's just really interesting. Lastly, I'll try this small length of pipe. Ain't too much happening on the first heat. Again, you've got to keep at it. Given the area that my hammer strikes in, it's better for me to focus on doing one half at a time.
could really incorporate this into some decorative projects. Really interesting, really nice to look at. I'll see how I can incorporate this zigzag pattern into some future video projects. And of course I've got tongs on the brain so I'm sure I can find a way to put this pattern into some tongs. Also, I've got a pretty good source for these serrated racks and so I might even think about selling pieces to those interested. To me, this pipe piece is the standout of the bunch. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.